I was a real champ in the game, but I was a real loser in real life. And that's what computer games do. It makes you escape reality. How World of Warcraft playing computer games and all doing all these nerdy stuff can actually build you a successful online business. I know that sounds crazy, but hey, this is Ping Jun here. And if you know my story, my story has been all about playing computer games when I was in college. I played it for over 10,000 hours while all my housemates were constantly getting high every single night. And one of the things that I realized is that if you are somebody that loves playing computer games is that if you take these principles from computer games and if you actually apply it in real life, in business, it would actually change your life. What if I told you that literally computer games are designed in a way to keep you addicted, to keep you obsessed. And if you can take this obsession that computer games are doing to you, it will change your life. So let's talk about this. You could be thinking like, Pingju, what are you talking about? Playing computer games is easy. It's easy because it's a game, it's, it's fun. Well, no. What if I told you that if you take a look at every single computer game, whether it is World of Warcraft, whether it is The Sims, whether it is whatever, guess what? To be at the top 1% of the 1%, you literally have to play the game like 12 to 16 hours a day. I have friends where all they do, like back in the day when I was gaming, the hardcore gamer friends, all they would do is they would wake up, game while eating pizza and instant noodles, have a date with their right hand and go to sleep. Like every single night, that's what they do. Rinse, repeat, day in, day out, every single day. It doesn't matter what game you play today, to be at the top 1%, it is not easy. It requires sacrifice. It requires sacrificing everything else to be at the top 1%. Well, you could be saying, well, Ping Jun, that's different because playing computer games is fun. Really? Look, World of Warcraft and every game that requires to be at the top 1% of 1% requires you to do this thing called grinding. Do you know what grinding is? Grinding means taking this mob and killing it over and over and over again. It is not fun to kill 20,000 boars for their meat for this quest. It's not fun. What if you could take your obsession and your addiction with computer games, which is what I did, okay? I literally played computer games. I had no life for at least five years of my life where all I did was wake up, eat, sleep, play computer games, and repeat. I realized that I was a real champ in the game, but I was a real loser in real life. And that's what computer games do. It makes you escape reality. Today, I wanna share with you a few of these different principles that if you were to apply in your business and in your life, it will make all the difference. Number one is making it easy to start. Notice how many different computer games, every single one of them, they make it super easy for you to start. Do you know what they do? You start as this level one noob, you have two skills, like literally. You can just mainly attack someone, you can't do anything else. The learning curve is super simple, there's no manual, there's no real tutorial book that you need to read through. Why? Because they make it super easy for you to start. What if you took this first principle and you applied it in business? What if you had this small goal where it was super easy for you to start? Now, what am I talking about? What if you set something super simple, bite-sized, whereby it's all about doing this thing by next Wednesday in order for you to get that momentum, to get you in the groove so that eventually you feel that need and the ambition and that obsession to go do the next thing. So that's number one. Make it easy to start, just like how computer games make it easy to start for you. That brings me to number two. Number two is about having a support group. Notice in how all these different games, the one thing that they do is they make it so that if you wanna be in the elite alliances and guilds, the elite hangs out with the elite. The elite aren't hanging out with the level 13 noobs. So what if in real life, it's the same thing? You've probably heard this before, environment is stronger than willpower. What if you to hang out with the people that will make you grow and stretch and get you out of your comfort zone. Because that's exactly what they do in these computer games. In these computer games, notice how they have these different alliances and guilds. And even though there are times when you don't feel like going on that raid, 
when you don't feel like playing, you know what happens? There's this peer pressure of you feeling like you can't quit, that you have to go on that raid because it feels like you'll be letting somebody else down if you don't go do it. In business and in life, if your top five friends are friends that is asking you to go to the pub every single day, where do you think you're gonna be? If your top five friends are friends that constantly tells you they're not good enough, what do you think you'll end up believing? It's the same thing as computer games. Level up who you hang out with, your support group, and you will realize that will literally stretch you out of your comfort zone into your next level. That brings us to number three. Number three is significance. Notice how all of these computer games, you know what they do? They make you want to have more, more significant, more epics, more loot. And what is the purpose of the purples and the epics and the legendary weapons and equipment? It's not for the extra 47 stamina or 13 strength or 5% extra attack speed. It is literally for significance. Recognition from other people in the game. Like literally, back then when I was gaming, when I accumulated all those different epics, you know what I would do? Literally, I would accumulate all those epics and I would go into the busiest part of the game and I would like literally stand up in my decked out tier whatever gear with my epic staff of whateverness, right? Standing in there and I would just go AFK away from keyboard with my character standing there in front of like a hundred people around me. That's what top gamers would do. They would just be totally decked out and allow other people around them to see what gear they have. And that is a classic example of significance. It's not about that gear, but it is about that recognition. Significance is a very powerful motivator in life. And what if you could channel that significance and put it into real life? Asking yourself, how can I take my need for significance and apply it so that I can actually have these achievements in life instead. And that brings us to number four. Number four is tracking your progress. In a game, that's super simple. You start off with level one, and it's clear that the next thing you need to do is to get a level two. It is clear that once you reach level two, you need to get a level three. It's clear on what is your next big milestone, and that is why it's easy. In real life, it's not that black and white. In real life, the path is not laid out. You don't really know what is the next thing that you need to do. So if you really think about it, what can you do in real life to track your progress? Because if you're able to track your progress, that is how it will give you the motivator to do the thing that is required. Put it this way, have you ever played that favorite computer game of yours? And to you, you are thinking, I don't want to sleep until I get to that next level. And you would grind and do that thing and not log out until you hit that next milestone. Think of it as like running an ultra marathon. It is extremely scary to say, you know what, I wanna run 100 miles. But what if it was about, you know what, next Wednesday, I wanna start off by running two kilometers. In three months from now, I wanna be able to run 10 kilometers. Chunking it down so that you know what is the next thing that needs to be done. So in business, what does that mean? It means, what if you could track your progress and say, you know what, by next Wednesday, I wanna set up a simple opt-in page that allows me to capture name and email addresses. And the following month after that, I wanna be able to generate my first sale online. And six months from there, I wanna be able to gather my first 1,000 leads. Chunking it down so that you actually believe that it is possible. And that brings us to the final one, which is number five, being consistent. Consistency is everything. Notice that in every single computer game, they make it so that it is literally a habit for you to log in every single day. And they force you by doing these daily quests that seems very effective and efficient so that you at least log in every single day to do these daily quests. What are your daily quests? What are your daily habits that you do every single day that gives you that consistency even if it's that 1% that brings you closer to goal? What if it's that just one step? What is that thing for you? Do you have that daily quest every day that is integrated as part of your life, just like what computer games do? The reason why computer games make it easy 
for you to have progress every day is because they make it as though it's part of your lifestyle. And if you can integrate these habits that will help you in business, in entrepreneurship, as part of your lifestyle, as part of your habits, as part of your daily quests, that is when, even though you're doing all these small bite-sized, step-by-step pieces every single day, you'll realize that eventually, in a year, two years, three years, it will make all the difference. Look, for me personally, it wasn't the case before all of the speaking, before the big crowds, before the videos, before all of that. I literally was a nerd and a loser my entire life. And I guess the goal and the summary of today's video is that it's okay to stay a nerd, just don't stay a loser. Hey man, by the way, if you like this video, let me know in the comments below what your favorite game is and how you can apply these principles into your life. And until then, this is Peng Jun here. I hope this video has given you value and I will see you in future videos.